Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Good morning world and welcome back to PE with Joe. It's day number three of the week. It's Wednesday, our fifth week of PE. Let me just change my timer. I'm gonna set my little five minute warm up and we're gonna kick things off with a five minute warm up and we're gonna do some shout outs. Five, five, zero, zero. Five minutes start, five minute warm up. Yeah, we're gonna do a five minute warm up. We're gonna do lots of shout outs. We're gonna do the shout outs now at the start, then during the middle, uh, halfway point, then at the end, so that I can focus just on the exercises um, and the technique and really getting the most out of it. So I know there's a lot going on yesterday. We had the quiz, we had the spot the difference, we had the heads and tails, which everybody loved the heads and tails. We will be doing it again, but today I've got a planned workout. So first of all, nice and simple, let's just march on the spot. Lifting those knees up. Okay, Nikki, we've got four and a half minutes. I want to do as many shouts as we can. Come on. Asher, Tobias, and Josephine training in Beirut. Wonderful. Right, keep marching, everybody. Freddie, Elsie, and Albert in Worcester Park. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Sid, 11 years old in Dubai. Right, twist left to right. Left to right. Happy 11th birthday to Artie. Good morning, Artie. Nice big twist. Amelia and Zoe in Essex. We, I swear to God, Amelia is the most popular name in the whole of the world at the moment. Right, left to right. Then we'll do some toe touches. Left to right. Off we go. We've got twin boys, Charlie and Henry in Colchester. Good morning, boys. Hello to Ella and Jess in Russia. Right, next one, down on the ground. One knee on the ground to stretch up. Brilliant, okay, so nice big stretch. We've got Cody and Tyler, Tyler in New Zealand. Brilliant. We're all the way over there today. Swap, swapping legs everybody, and we've got Lorenzo, who's sixth birthday in Italy. Good morning, Lorenzo. Right, so nice big stretch. Right, look behind, there's six spot the differences. Can you see them? I'll be letting you know at the end of the workout, there's six spot the differences. Nice big stretch. Brilliant, now we're gonna sit on our bottom, um, feet like this, so hands behind, and just put the knee to the ground, knee to the ground, so this, you're trying to, it's open up your hip joint. So, question number one, let's go for it, world trivia. Question number one. Mount Fuji is a mountain in which of these countries? Japan, Hawaii, or New Zealand? Mount Fuji is a mountain in which of these countries? Japan, Hawaii, or New Zealand? So left to right, left to right. Good, now I'm gonna come up into the squat position. Stand up nice and tall. We're gonna sit down and just rotate our arm like this. Good, we've got two minutes left on the warm up. Left to right, six spot the differences. Hello to Thomas and Emmy in Hampshire. Rian, Sarah and their mum training together in Edinburgh. Next one, standing up. We're gonna step, uh, step to the side, let's just hand on the bent knee, like that, stretch. Left to right, good, perfect. And we've got Archie, Alf, Alfie and Alicia training in Sydney. All the way down under, thanks for tuning in, thanks to everyone that's taken part. I'm loving doing this, I love doing it every day and I'm enjoying it, it's, a, it's just the best part of my day, I love it. And when it's over, I just wanna get back to it, I just miss it. Right, let's go left and right. I actually do miss it on the weekends, I wish we were doing it seven days a week, right. Left to right, good. Next one, nice big circles on the arms. So Mount Fuji is in which of these countries? Japan, Hawaii, New Zealand. It is Japan. Well done if you got that question. One point to you. So right, big circles with the arms backwards. Big circles forwards. So we will be doing the heads or tails thing again. And a lot of people message me saying, did you have a double-sided coin? Was it all a tails? But it was definitely a heads or tails. It was definitely not a cheating one. Okay, next one we're gonna just stretch up. Stretch, stretch, and pivot your foot. Stretch, stretch. Good, and we're gonna just do one more little cardio warm up move to get us going. Perfect, so last, uh, last one, just run on the spot, nice and quick, for 20 seconds. So we're gonna be doing 30 seconds on the exercise, 
followed by 30 seconds rest. We do 10 exercises, then we pause for two minutes for some more shout outs, then we do another 10 exercises, 30 seconds, 30 on. So 30, 30 today. Keep running, lift those knees up. Okay, right. Are you ready for exercise number one? I said, are you ready, world, for exercise number one? Right, let's do this. First exercise, nice and simple. Technique, nice straight back. Reverse lunge, feet together. Reverse lunge, off we go. 30 seconds. Right, got to make sure my beeper's going off. It might be connected to the thing. All right, so keep doing your reverse lunges. Settings, Bluetooth off. Okay, just turn that volume up. That's what I need to do, volume up. Okay, right, keep going, keep lunging. 10 seconds, so we're gonna step back, step, feet together, step, good, nice straight back, big step backwards. Perfect, and relax, well done, right. Next, uh, next question on the trivia. Is Miami on the east coast or west coast of America? There's no map, so you can't cheat. Is Miami on the west coast or east coast of the United States? Okay, next exercise we're gonna do, Again, another large body one, so nice simple squats. We're gonna squat down and pulse. We're gonna pulse and then stand up. So we do three pulses then stand. Ready, here we go. So come down and go one, two, three, and stand. One, two, three, and stand. Back straight, three pulses, weight in the heels, nice straight back, shoulders back, chest up. And you don't want your knees to cave in, yeah? Don't let your knees cave in, drive them out. Pulse, 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 and stand. Pulse, 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 and stand. Good, keep it going, the last few seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Right, the answer is Miami is on the east coast of America. So you've got California on the west coast, Miami on the east coast. Right, little drink. 325,000 live schools, homes, households, somewhere around the world. Okay, down we go. Next one's gonna be push-ups. So remember, hands on the ground, we come down and push. Down and push. Right, let's go. 30 seconds starting now. Can anybody guess where that photo is taken? Where is that and what ocean is that? That could be a good little question. Right, keep going. So push-ups, remember, we wanna bend those elbows and then push up. So you come nice and straight, down, and up, good. Perfect, keep doing your press ups, keep doing them, come on. You're gonna get stronger every time we do these. You can do them from your knees if you need, you can do them in full press ups. Three, two, one, and relax, brilliant. Okay, next exercise, cardio move. We're gonna run on the spot and throw nice fast punches. So really get your heart rate up as high as you can now. Question number three, true or false? England is the most visited country in the world. True or false, England, is the most visited country in the world. Okay, so we're gonna run and punch. Remember, high knees. Fast, 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 fast. In four seconds time. Let's go high energy, let's really work hard today, come on. Mums, dads, teachers, anyone that's doing this right now, can you go a little bit harder than you did yesterday? Can you go a bit faster? Do a few more reps. We're getting stronger. We're getting stronger, come on. Let's go, 15 seconds, faster. Turbo boost, turbo boost. Come on. Oh, all right, a little breather. Grab a little drink. The answer is, it's false. England is not the most visited country in the world. The most visited country in the world is France with 89 million Tourists be, uh, visits a year. 89 million people visit France. Whew. Okay, down on the ground. Abs exercise. Legs up like this, and we're crunching. Let's go. So a lot of people go to France. Come on. If it's too hard on the legs up, you can get them on the floor. Just crunch, crunch. And it's important to breathe, so inhale on the way down, and then exhale as you come up. Come on. Brilliant, great exercise. 
Number four, here's a good one. The Beatles played in a famous club called The Cavern. Which city is The Cavern? Where's The Cavern Club? Which city? It's the club where The Beatles played. Have a little guess. Right, we're going to do our lunges now. Spider-Man lunges. Get nice and low. So watch what I'm doing. Look, I'm going down. I'm lunging. And then I twist. Let's go. Right, so the Beatles, the famous band, play in a club called The Cavern. The Cavern is in Liverpool. So well done to everyone who got that. I've been there. It's a tiny little club. I, I love Liverpool. Great city. Great night out. Come on. Lunge. Spin the webs. Really twist that body around. Twist, twist, and bend. The legs having to work hard there, aren't they? Okay, we're doing well. We've got four more exercises. Next one I want to do, nice and simple, star jumps. If you want it to be harder, you can do explosive Pikachu's, where you go from there. That's a harder version. The easier version oh, It's a star jump, right. Number five, where in the world does reggae music come from? Where does reggae music come from? Nicky, where's that? Nicky's got it right. Home of Bob Marley. Reggae music comes from Jamaica. Right, come on, keep going. Easy version, easy version, and then hard version. Woo, woo, sa, up. Come on. How hard do you want it to be? Push it. Oh, okay. So, you might have spotted one of the spot differences here. Extra bonus point if you can tell me what beach that is and what ocean that is. Just from there, can you tell? It's a tough one, it's a very hard question. Okay, down on the ground. We're now doing our mountain climbers. So from the elbows or the hands, knees to chest. 30 seconds, come on. Yeah, massive bonus points for anyone that can work that out. Come on, let's go. 30 seconds, knees to chest. It's a tough exercise. Cardio, come on, let's get a sweat on today. The harder you push yourself, the more incredible you're going to feel afterwards. So get out of your comfort zone. Challenge yourself. We do this to get fit, but also to get mentally strong and to feel good. Come on. Here we go, and relax. Right. True or false, there are 51 states in the USA. True or false, there are 51 states in the USA. Okay, next exercise. Nice and simple. We're doing squats. Or if you want to go next level, level two, squat jumps, where you jump off the ground. You can decide, we're going in five seconds. Come on in, I'm going for the jumps. Come on, John, you got this. You got this, let's jump, jump, jump. Right, so true or false, there are 51 states in the USA. The answer is false, there are only 50 states in the USA. Oh, it burns. Come on, off the ground, keep going, Joe. Keep going. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And relax, brilliant. Next exercise, down on the ground, another abs one. So I often get asked, why do you exercise, Joe? What motivates you to get up in the morning every day and do this? And the truth is, it makes me happier. I feel good, I feel energized, I feel alive, I feel productive, I feel patient, I feel calm. It's the most amazing thing and that's why I exercise every day and I hope you're feeling the same. Right, next one. Bicycle crunches. Bicycle crunches. And the truth is, the younger you start exercising, and the earlier you tap into that and you realise how it can change the way you feel every day, the better because you'll, you'll be a fit kid, a fit teenager, and an even happier, healthier adult. So, keep this up every day. Come back Monday to Friday. Come on. Yes, 
Fantastic, right. We've got our two minute rest now. So Nikki, it's shout out time. It's shout out time and let me just hit my timer. Part two, here we go. Two minute breathing, so catch your breath. Give yourselves a clap. Well done. Let's throw some high fives out there. Hit the like button. Bosh. Right, okay Nikki, come on, let's rattle them off. Zori in Armenia. Good morning, Zori. Hello to Claudia and Sophia in Guernsey. Good morning. Grace, seven years old in Bristol today. Good morning, Grace, and happy birthday. Happy 11th birthday to Poppy. Have a wonderful day, Poppy. Thank you for taking part with my workout today. And happy 50th birthday to Fiona, who's done the workouts every single day. Happy anniversary to John and Lizzie. We've got Max and Harry training in the Ukraine. Amazing, we've got a minute to go. Come on, Nicky, keep them going. Let's go as many as we can. We've got the K family in Bristol. Oliver and Robin in. Belfast, good morning Oliver and Robin. Ruby and Zach on the Isle of Wight. And Georgia, good morning, who's eight in Surbiton, that's where I used to live. Okay, so, next question, number, number seven. The mythical creature, the Loch Ness Monster, is from which country? The mythical creature, the Loch Ness Monster, is from which country? Right, we're going again in 20 seconds time. Next exercise, we're going to do one of my favourites, climb the ladder, so it's knees up, hands above the head, high energy, think about lifting your knees as high as you can, and stretch up and pull down like you're climbing a ladder. Here we go, seven seconds. Can you work harder than the first ten minutes? Can you push to the next level? Yes, you can. Come on, let's go. I'm going to give, really go for it now, come on. Come on, come on. High knees. So the Loch Ness Monster, Loch Ness is in Scotland. Oh, I can't wait to visit Scotland. I'm going to be going on a motorbike trip there soon to visit the Highlands. Right, come on, faster. High knees, hands above the head. Okay, turbo. Come on. Yes. Remember, six what the difference is today. There's six of them up there. Six what the difference is. Oh. Okay, I'm just catching my breath. Next one we're gonna do the lily pad frog jumps. Remember, there's a frog. There's lily pads, you've got to jump all around the room. So you don't jump in the water, you land on the lily pads. Right, let's go, big jumps. So we jump forwards, where are they? We jump right across the other side of the room because we're on a pond and we can only land on the big green lily pads. Touch the ground and jump. Come on, jump left. Right, front and back, oh, so hard on the legs. Jump, jump, one more. Perfect, and relax. Next question, number eight. Oh, this is great. One, I've got to say, this is becoming my favorite Pixar movie. It's one, it's one I just keep, keep going back to, I love it. The Pixar movie, Ratatouille, is based in which romantic European city? Pixar movie Ratatouille is based in which European city? Okay, we're gonna go again. I know you're gonna find this hard, but we're gonna do lunge jumps. Come on, lunge jumps. If they're really difficult, just do another set of reverse lunges. But if you want the challenge, we go jump, 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 jump. So Ratatouille, which is such a great film, so clever, is based in the city of Paris in France. So well done if you got that point. Ah. Oh, the burn. And relax, brilliant. Well done everyone, you're doing so well. Next question, number nine, this is a good question. In 2010, I cycled my bike 2,000 miles from Vancouver all the way down to San Diego. On my right was the ocean, all the way. All I could see was the ocean. Which ocean was I looking at? 
Nikki, what ocean was it? You got it, Nikki? He's got it right. right. Next exercise, run on the spot. When I say down, we go down, down. Run on the spot, we go down. Yeah, plant down, Nikki. It dis it disconnects to the blue suit. Run on the spot, down, good. Run on the spot, come on, run. Down, good. Run, sprint. Down, and run, good, come on. And down, good. Come on, run, 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 run. And down, run. Keep it going. And down, last one. So I flew with my bike in a box, unpacked it, built it. Cycled 2,000 miles down the west coast of America. On my right was the ocean, because I was on the Pacific Coast Highway. The ocean I was looking at is the Pacific Ocean, because Pacific Coast Highway is a road that runs all the way down. Oh, well done, good point. 10 seconds, right down the ground. We're now gonna do this. So starting with that, your feet like this, you walk in and out. In and out, up we go. So walk in, walk out. Walk in and out. Walk in, walk out. Walk in, walk out, good. Walk in and out, good. So you're walking out into that plank there, strong plank, walk the feet in high and back. High and back. Come on, you're doing so well today. Let's keep working. Keep working. Brilliant, good work. So, next exercise, we're gonna do hand release push-ups. Now what they are, basically in a push-up position, we come down, lift your hands off the ground, and then push up. So you come down, lift up, and push. Down, lift up the hands, and push. Makes it tougher, engage the shoulders, and get a real good press. Next question, where in, where in the world is the Great Barrier Reef? Where in the world is the Great Barrier Reef? Okay, come on, push up. So you go down, look, hands off the ground, and then you push up. Come down, hand off the ground, and push. Come down, release the hand, release the hands off the ground, and push up. They're tough, come on, they're deep push up right into the chest. Chest, tricep, chest, tricep. 13 seconds. The answer to the Great Barrier Reef question is, Amazing, beautiful place. It's a big old thing, the Barrier Reef, but it's in Australia. Right, come on, three, two, one, and relax. Perfect, good exercise. Good work, we've got four more exercises, four more moves. We're now gonna do shuffle to the side into a burpee. So we shuffle a little bit onto the ground, then we go up, shuffle, 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 hand around you, kick back, stand up, shuffle, 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 same again. Just use the whip in your room, or if you want to do it on the spot, you just run on the spot and go down. You run on the spot and go down, yeah? If you can, do a bit of lateral left to right. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Hands down, kick, stand up, and again, across. Next question, number 11. Mandarin is the main language spoken in which country? Mandarin is the main language spoken in which country? Come on, where is it? Where is it? Do you know the answer? World trivia, we're learning. We're learning new things today. Come on. Come on. Come on. Brilliant, right, drink. Woo. Good question, right. The answer to the Mandarin question. Mandarin is the main language spoken in China. Well done, good point. Woo. Okay. Next exercise, down on the ground. So we're gonna be in this position here, right? Push up position. From the knees, come down, tap, tap. So push up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, off you go. Push up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. So you can do full push ups if you want. Push up, so upper body, we're really hitting upper body today. Push up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Good, keep going, repeat that. Push up, tap, tap. Push up, tap, tap. 14 seconds. 12 seconds, 11, 10, come on, 9, 8, count with me, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax, brilliant, right, two more exercises, two more moves. Next question, this is a good one. The Hogwarts, the Hogwarts Express is a train which travels between platform 9 and 3 quarters at which London train station? At which London train station does Hogwarts Express train leave from? Okay, next one. 
We're gonna go for it now. Nice tough. We're gonna go up, tuck jump. We go down, up, jump. Down, up, little jump. Down, up, come on, let's go. Little jump. Down, up, little jump. Good, keep going, repeat that, repeat that, repeat that. We've got 20 seconds. Come on, everybody. Kick back, stand up, little jump. Kick back, stand up, little jump. Kick back, stand up, little jump. Good, come on, 10 seconds, how many can you do? Can you do more than you did last time? Last few reps. Five, come on, get stronger, get faster. Three, two, one. And relax, brilliant. Okay, one more exercise. The answer, Hogwarts Express train leaves from London's King's Cross train station. Well done, good point. Only three more questions to go. Okay, last exercise. This is tough, we're gonna do two push-ups, so down on the ground. We do two push-ups, so one, two, jump up, two lunge jumps, one, two, two push-ups, two lunge jumps, go. So two push-ups, one, two, stand up, one, two, repeat, two push-ups, down, come on, down, down, up, up, two push-ups, two lunge jumps, lunge, lunge, keep going, keep working, come on, I know it's tough, we are working hard, we're pushing it hard today, elevate your mood, lift up your energy, lift up your spirit, walk away feeling proud, Strong, confident. Five seconds, come on, let's go. Four, three, two, one, yes. What a workout, what a workout. Everybody give yourselves a massive clap, give yourself a massive high five, give someone a hug if you're in the room, say I'm proud of you. Say well done, I'm proud of you. And tell yourself, say I'm proud of me. I've just pushed myself, my physical body, through a physical experience, and you've changed your mindset, your, your mood is elevated, you feel happier, your heart's beating, you're alive, you're present. We haven't got a care in the world right now. When you exercise, that's what you've done, it's powerful. So thank you for joining me. Here's the last three questions. Number one, P. Sherman lives at 42 Wallaby Way in which city? P. Sherman lives at 42 Wallaby Way in which city? Hmm, where could that be? Maybe it's from a movie, maybe it's from, an, I'm obsessed with Pixar movies at the moment. Maybe it's a movie called Nemo. Where was Nemo swimming to? Where were they trying to find Nemo? Oh, I know. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Brilliant. Okay, next one. This one's for me. Warren Hogg is a successful paper merchant in the UK comedy The Office. If you don't know it by now, I'm a massive fan of The Office. I'm obsessed. Can't stop watching it. Where is that town based? Where is the town that Warren Hogg, the paper merchant, is? Anyone know? Warren Hogg from The Office, paper merchant. It's very successful. So they make a bit, is in Slough. Well done, Slough. Okay, last one, true or false? Las Vegas is in the state of Arizona. True or false? Las Vegas is in the state of Arizona. It is false because Las Vegas is in Nevada. So I tried to trick you there. Well done on the 15 World Trivia quizzes. Uh, well done on the 15 World Trivia questions. Are you now ready for the six spot the differences? So let's just do a little stretch, sitting down on our bottoms. And I'll tell you the spot the difference and also the bonus points. So first one we're gonna do just legs out straight, touch the toes. Okay, sitting in that position to stretch the toes. Number one is one of my books, Joe's 30 Minute Meals. Number two, a little photo of my daughter Indy in America. Number three, this little lavender. Number four is the dog, the guide dog that Indy got at Build a Bear. And then this is a beautiful photo of me and Indy in Costa Rica when she was little. And the last one you may have seen is this picture. Now this is a picture that my brother took. He flew his drone up above my house in America and this is the exact shot above my house. So which beach and which ocean is that? Anyone got a guess? If you know where I spend winter, you'll know where I am because I'm always over in America. So this is a massive double bonus point. This is Santa Monica Beach in California. So you've got Santa Monica Pier here, Venice Pier this way, and that ocean is the Pacific Ocean. So massive double bonus points if you got that. Well done. Next stretch, up on our knees, stretching out like this. That was a great quiz. Who enjoyed the quiz today? So nice big stretch with that side, and we're gonna finish with some wonderful shout outs to say thank you to as many people as we can for taking part today. Happy birthday, Gabriella in Richmond, which is just where I live. Thank you, Gabriella. 
Louis, Heidi and Mum in North Devon. Next one, standing up, you can put your hand on the floor. Hold this balance, just bringing that uh, knees together. Hold that stretch there. Hello to the Sear family training with us in Australia. There's lots of people in Australia, so it's evening time there. Stretch this way. We've got Anish in Nepal. Wow, amazing. Bibi. We've got Bibi, Bibi and Matilda in Chiswick. Right, next one, stretch up. Nice big stretch. And stretch and just hang. Hello everyone to Bromwich Primary School in Watford. In the house. A few little twists. And we've got Vicarage Park School in Kendall. Thank you for joining us. Hope you had a good work. And that was a tough one. We really pushed ourselves. We're, we're, we're progressing, you know. We're not going backwards. We're going forwards. We're going up. We're getting stronger. Getting fitter, healthier. It's, it's always up. Always progressing. Next one, stretch. Hold that bent knee. Leg straight. You feel the stretch on the inside. Hold that for about 20 seconds. Then we swap. We've got Freya, who's age eight in London, swapping sides. And everyone at St. Michael's Junior School in Aldershot. Thanks to all the schools that took part today. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for being here. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And we've got Darcy and her mum and their cockatoo all taking part in Essex. We've even got a cockatoo doing it. So last few twists, left to right. Fantastic workout. I feel great. I feel energised. I feel happy and I hope that you feel the same. That's why we're doing this and I really, really love it. And I'll see you tomorrow, same again, 9 a.m. More surprises, different workouts and also more quiz. And I've ordered some fun stuff to make it more interactive. Remember, Friday, every Friday is Fancy Dress Friday and I've got a, another silly outfit for Friday. So have a lovely day. Thanks again and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.